Who doesn't love a cheat meal, right? If you're anything like me, I literally cannot go a week without my cheat meal. I look forward to my cheat meal all week, and it's the highlight of my week. We talk about it all week, we plan it out, we change our minds a hundred times, but it's a very enjoyable night. However, on the other on the other side, a lot of people do not like having a, a cheat meal because they feel it's increasing their cravings or sets them back, or there is or there's just a lot of confusion on whether they need a cheat meal, whether or not a cheat meal is actually beneficial to you. In this video, I'm going to explain why I think it is best for you to have one cheat meal per week. I just want to reinforce that it is one cheat meal, not one cheat day. It is a cheat meal, so I am going to explain why a cheat meal is beneficial for multiple different reasons. I'll give you a few of my favorite cheat meals and tell you what you must take into consideration when having a cheat meal and why. If you're watching this video, I assume you're following a moderate, strict to very strict diet already. Well, I hope you are anyway, because it is important if you want to get into good shape. I'm also going to ensure that you are on a pretty tough weight training regime. Whether you're looking to drop fat or build muscle, if you're not doing any training or dieting at all, a cheat meal doesn't apply to you. A cheat meal only applies for the way it, I see it, or the way um, a cheat meal should, or you should see it, is earned if by following a strict diet and going through an intense weight training regime. So a cheat meal, actually it is, it's a meal of your choice. Something delicious, something you are craving, something you have been looking forward to all week. That is not part of your scheduled day-to-day -day diet. A cheat meal is a meal on top of your original diet and is there as a reward of your hard works. Work with both dieting and training. I really want to emphasize the fact you need to earn your cheat meal. You do not get your cheat meal if you are if you cheat your dieting during the week, or you do not get your cheat meal if you are missing workouts or your cardio sessions. A cheat meal is there as your rewards as your hard work, which I think is very important for your motivation and your enjoyment at life. There is There are several reasons why I believe a cheat meal is important, and why going to go, we're gonna go over all of them for you. Even though I'm obsessed with the way I look, I don't mean obsessed as in standing in front of the mirror and think, oh my god, I'm so perfect. I mean obsessed as in my body is my career, and my body is my passion. I love my process of changing my body. I love the facts. I work required. I work quite I love the science behind it. And also I believe that bodybuilding is art. You can picture exactly what you want to look like, your ideal physique, and you can literally sculpt that image into reality. So yes, I am obsessed with the body, with my body. I do believe that if you want to be the best in the world at something or even compete with the best in the world, you have to be obsessed with what you want to do. You want to enjoy the work ethic that comes with achieving it. However, on the other hand, I do love life. I love bad food putting on a movie and actually chilling out, eating something delicious and enjoyable. I say this to all my clients almost every day. You need to learn to see food as fuel. The food is not there to enjoy it. The food is not there to make you happy. We eat the way we do for purpose. We eat to get in shape. We eat to perform at our best. I want my body to be operating like a machine at its peak at all the time so I can dominate not only my training, but the rest of my life as well. That's why I do it six days and six meals per week. Then, of a course, and of a course I add my cheat meal on top of that, because I honestly feel that I deserve it. My cheat meal excites the hell out of me. I love it, it's my only form of enjoyment through food. If you're doing what I do to, to, my, to your diet, and you train hard 
and you are consistent and you work your butt off to get in shape, then you deserve a cheat meal as well. It is, it is a reward for your weeks of work and you deserve to get a kickback for one night a week, indulge in something delicious. Why wouldn't you? So the number one reason why I love my cheat meal is because I really do believe there is more to life than just training and dieting. I would never expect any of my clients to eliminate bad food from their lifestyle altogether. Life is all about being happy and life is all about enjoying the good things but enjoying them in moderation. If you are, if you are eating seven good meals a day, six times a day, which equals 42 good meals, I'm entitled to one bad day, one bad one. You deserve it. The next few reasons why I recommend having a cheat meal, to me, it makes perfect sense. Having, I have one cheat meal on the day that I train my weakest muscle group. Now, there is science behind there as well. If you have seen my video, Protein, Carbs and Fats, you will hear me say that when you consume sugary carbs or high GI carbs, it spikes a juice, insulin hormone in your body which operates all the muscle cells and shuttles nutrients into those muscles over weeks and months if you're consuming your cheat meal or the day, on the day you're training muscles, on the day you're training your weakened muscle group. You're actually going to help grow your muscle and a lot faster because insulin is one of the most antibiotic and antibiotic and a hormones in the body. We, can, we have gone through your, earned your cheat meal through hard weeks dieting and training you have you you are having your cheat meal on the day you train your weakest muscle group now your cheat meal must contain significant amounts of protein if you have if you are having such carbs and fats for your cheat meal like donut or ice cream it is going to have no positive benefit in your body however if you are having protein carbs and fats in your cheat meal it becomes a muscle building meal you must have a good amount of protein in your cheat meal. Cheat meal. Protein is the number one for muscle recovery and by consuming a large amount of protein while spiking your insulin at the same time. It is going to shuttle that protein straight into the broken down muscle and help them grow and, reco and recover faster. What I personally have for my cheat meal, the list goes on forever but I'll give you a list of a few of my favorites just so you have a better understanding of what you can what you can and can't have a huge steak mushroom sauce and mashed potato and chocolate for dessert a large butter chicken extra chicken with rice and a frozen yogurt for dessert two kebabs with with a lot of magnum ice, with a lot of magnum ice cream or a huge burger with lots of fries, ice cream for dessert. Any meal with lots of meat is perfect and there is something sweet for dessert is basically what I consider the perfect cheat meal. I recommend you and I recommend for you and for me personally I like to keep my cheat meal somewhat professional. I don't eat two pizzas, one liter of ice cream, multiple bars of chocolate all on the same night. I have delicious large large meal which is huge in protein and something sweet for dessert. This is very enjoyable, it is professional it is, and it does the job. Don't go over top, do not fall in one in junk buffet until you can be sick. This is a controlled delicious high protein meal with nice controlled dessert. Does that make sense? Yeah? It's an important you can find time to enjoy life I know we all busy, we are shit all the time, but you still have, but you still need to enjoy, enjoy life. Cheap night, cheap night, stay in, look like shit, sit on the couch, comfy clothes, put on a movie, relax. Basically, that equals, you know, it's two, no, seven nights per night. You need to have a happily sacrifice my meals all, all the time. Progress with my with my career, and even though I'm sacrificing working my ass off, life is still pretty good. Lifestyle, it all comes down to 
perspective you have on what you are doing. If you're going to whine and complain that you don't like eating the same food, cardio is, be, is boring, not seeing results after two weeks or training or whatever, you may be having, you may be having the gym. If that is what you choose to focus on, you will not be anywhere because you will give up. Because you, will, because you won't enjoy it or you, you are not optimistic, you will not see it as what you're processing and I'm thriving in all, the time, all your hard work. I'm, be I'm becoming healthy. I am, I am a good role model for my kids. I am a good role model for your kids. Look forward to your cheat meal and spending time with the people you love. Whatever, choose, whatever you choose to focus on, how you are going to feel. So yes, dieting is hard. It is going to suck, but there is so many positives that come out from this. Anyways, need to focus on the positives. I hope this helps you enjoy your cheat meal. Understand why you're eating your meal. I'm understanding why you're eating your cheat meal. And just never like your cheat meal because you deserve a reward. After all your hard work you're putting in, with great sacrifice comes great reward. I promise you all the hard work will be worth it.